Thang Long Han reasoned a jolt capital city. According to the complete annals of Dai Viet, Autumn, July 1010, King Lai Kong Yuan moved the capital city from Holu to Daila. As soon as the Royal Dragon boat landed at the wharf in Daila Citadel, he suddenly saw a gold dragon. Then he changed the name of the citadel to Thang Long Soaring Dragon. Over more than 1,000 years, the city has become a special cultural land. Over the past decades, May archaeological excavations have been carried out to find the traces of the palaces built under the Lai, Tran and La dynasties of Thang Long capital citadel. However, the traces found were modest compared to what recorded in ancient documents, maps and books. In 2002, the biggest excavation at number 18 Hong Yu Street Hanoi revealed traces of a foundation, palaces and towers of the ancient capital city, which was recognized by archaeologists and historians. The traces now belong to the central sector of the Thang Long Hanoi Royal Citadel. In July 2010, the World Heritage Committee under UNESCO recognized the central sector of the Imperial Citadel of Thang Long Hanoi as a cultural heritage. The attributes of the complex has three key features that give it outstanding universal value, longevity over 13 centuries, continuity as a seat of power, and the presence of a layered record of vestiges. The Imperial Citadel of Thang Long is a relic complex associated with the history of Thang Long Hanoi since the pre-Thang Long period and now in the 7th century through Din Priyala dynasty. It's strongly developed under the Lai, Tran, La dynasties and became Hanoi Citadel under the Guyan dynasty. This is an imposing architectural building built in different dynasties under many historical periods. It has become one of the most important complexes in the historical relic sites in Vietnam. Before the 10th century, Thang Long was part of a Nam district ruled by China Tang Dynasty. The chief governing Kuong Long Du village had a citadel built as the post for the invaders in that period. The citadel was built in the 6th century and named Chu Than, which means subsidiary citadel. In the 7th century, its name was changed into Le Than. In the 9th century, Commander-in-Chief Pa Upayan expanded the citadel and changed its name into Dila. In 938, Gokhwai and defeated the invading forces of the southern Han state of China on the Baktang River. In spring 939, he proclaimed himself Govuong and set up the capital in Kolua instead of Dila. After defeating the uprising of the Twelve Lords of Districts, Din and Priyala dynasties set up the capital city in Hoalu, Nainbin. At this time, Dila, the large field was controlled by Luko, who gave the key to Dila to Kin Lai Taidu. In 1010, 41 years after the Din and Priyala dynasties set up their capital in Hoalu, Kin Lai Taidu, the founder of the Lai dynasty issued the edict on the move of the capital to Dila and changed the name of the citadel to Thang Long. Dila Citadel former capital of Ga Upayan, located in the region between heaven and earth. In the middle of the four directions of south, north, east, west. With the crouching tiger, hidden dragon position surrounded by mountains and river. This area was wide but flat, high but bright with good population and prosperity. Across Vietnam, this was the land of scenic beauty and gathering quintessence of the country. Thang Long Citadel was built with three layers. The outermost and biggest round is called Le Phen or Khen Phan. 
The second round is called Holm Than. Royal Citadel, a former name under the dynasty. This is an important round surrounding palaces, towers, pagodas and temples of the royal family. The third and the most important round in the center is the Forbidden City, where only the king and his royal family members worked. The main shrine was the place where the king gave audience. Kinlai Taitu has made use of most of the architectural buildings of Dila Citadel and built some new ones. The king had the main palace of Kenguyen on the floor of the house on seals where the Chu Taori god of Kuan Mandu village was worshipped. Kenguyen is meaningful name revealing Ken's aspiration for survival. Ken is the first of the 64 lots symbolizing the universe. It also means the sun. Kenguyen, which means the beginning of everything, was where the kings of the Lai dynasty received his mandarins. Under the reign of the La and Mac dynasties, the imperial citadel of Thanglong witnessed many changes. After driving the Ming invaders away, La Lu maintained the capital in Thanglong. However, he changed the name of the citadel to Duangdu and then Duangkin. The La dynasty repaired the citadel after the war. Basically, Duangdu of the La dynasty was not much different from Thanglong of the Lai, Tran and Ho dynasties. The central sector of the imperial citadel of Thanglong Hanoi now covers 18,395 hectares, including the archaeological site at number 18 Hongdu Street, and the remaining relics of the Hanoi ancient citadel, such as Hanoi Flag Tower, Don Moon Gate, Gunthin Palace, D67 Building, Rear Palace, Northern Gate, Walls and Eight Stopover Gates, built under the Guyan Dynasty. The relic complex is located in Badin District bordered by Fan Dinfeng Street to the north by Bak Sun Street and the National Assembly Building to the south by Hongju, Dok Lap Streets and the National Assembly Building to the west by Dian Bin Fu Street to the southwest and Gu Yan Rai Fu Ong Street to the east. There are still vestiges of Gan themed palace floor on the ground. The palace, located in the center of the Forbidden City, is a symbol of the administrative and power center of Thanglong Imperial Citadel. According to documents, the palace was built in 1428. The most important parts of the palace which can be seen in modern time include the floor and the stone steps to the palace, the handrails and the balconies carved with images of dragons. The front balconies were built in 1467 with nine stone steps and three entrances. The southern gate is the main path to the Forbidden City, where Kinthine and other palaces were located. The gate was built in the Lai Dynasty. Don Moon Gate was built under the Liso dynasty in the 15th century and restored under the Guyan dynasty in the 19th century. Don Moon Gate was made of stone and bricks in the U shape. On the main door placed a stone carved with two words of Don Moon. The biggest entrance was for the king. The two smaller entrances on the two sides were for mandarins and royal family members. On the top of Don Moon Gate is a brickyard surrounded by banisters. There are two staircases leading to the yard. The previous Mo Lao Tower here has been destroyed. 
In the Guyen dynasty, a small thing in square tower. Building with two roofs built on the top of Don Mo. The current Fuongin building was restored in 1998. In an archaeological excavation conducted in 1999 under Don Moon Gate, traces of a wall and brickyard built under the Le Dynasty, and a path paved with bricks decorated with images of lemon flower, under the Tran Dynasty leading to Kanthin Palace were found. Dynasty in 1821. It is where concubines stayed when the can left you for the northern citadel. However, it was destroyed in the late 19th century. The remaining building was restored by French people. In 1998, archaeologists found some objects made between the 9th and early 20th centuries. At the depth of 3.2 meters, traces of a well dug under the Lasso dynasty, and paved with bricks and lotus stone normally placed under the wooden pillars, in the Lai and Tran dynasties, and many pottery objects used by the kings in the Lasso dynasty. Northern Gate is the only of the five gates of Hanoi Citadel built in 1805 under the Guyan Dynasty. The Dome Gate is a stone board with three words red shun back mo. Main Northern Gate. In 1999, archaeologists detected the remaining part of the wall built of stone and wooden hammer bricks. Its foundation is of 1.2 meters thick. Traces of another architectural building built under the dynasty were also found at the depth of 1.662.2 meters. In 1805, when building Hanoi Citadel, the Guyan dynasty had a wall built from Don Moon Gate to the palace for the king to work and rest. Whenever he went to the north, there are still eight gates in the Imperial Citadel. Later, French people had many buildings built in the central sector of the Hanoi Imperial Citadel in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The construction of modern buildings in Western styles is the proof of a cultural continuity and interaction here located in the area where Southeast Asia civilization and Oriental Occidental cultures converge, Thang Long Hanoi has long been the rendezvous of many civilizations in Asia and in the world. Based on the map of the Thang Long Imperial Citadel in 1831 and applying modern technology, scientists suppose that the Temple of Literature and One Pillar Pagoda or parts of the Imperial Citadel of Thang Long. According to UNESCO World Heritage Committee, it is hard to find a heritage in the world that can reveal the continuity of political and cultural development like the central sector of Thang Long Hanoi. The heritage is convincing proof of the long-standing culture a Vietnamese people in the Red River Delta, through 13 consecutive centuries. From pre-Thang Long, Din Priyala to Thang Long Hanoi periods, with the Lai, Tran, La and Guyan dynasties until now. Continuing layers of archaeological culture, architectural relics and heritage arts reveal the history of Vietnam through the dynasty's control over ideology. 
politics, administration, law, economy and culture for nearly a millennia. With its outstanding values, the Imperial Citadel of Thangalore deserves the title of World Cultural Heritage.